all right guys welcome back to the next video all right so today i'll be showing you some essential plugins that you need for your legion go s right these plugins will help you be more efficient using your device help you on a day-to-day -day basis and make it a lot easier to use your legion go s this is not only for legion go s you can also use it for the asus rogue ally and also even the steam deck as well most of these plugins are just filling features that are missing if you did update to SteamOS on your device, right? Or if you get the Legion Go S and you're just missing some features that you should have had, right? Like for example, the U lights on this right here, you can't control it with just stock SteamOS. You have to get either a plugin or Bizet or something like that just to control the lights. And for some reason, sometimes if you're not using any type of plugin, the lights will stop working right so most of these plugins are essential to you and it gives you like a better experience on your day-to-day -day use and some of them are just customization just to make your system look a lot better and customize it to your preference right so let me get into the video real quick and i'll show you what's going on all right so the first thing you need to do you need to get the decky loader plugin so this right here is like a hub for all your plugins right so once you get that then you're all situated then you come back here and they could get all these stuff in here right and there's going to be more as well i'm going to show you guys how to download them and how to get them up and running if you don't know how to get decky load on your system just make sure you watch the video down in the description down below and i'll show you exactly how to get it you just got to go to the github page download it and you also might need your sudo password as well just gotta tap that in and then you up and running so once you come in here and then you open up your steam menu right here on the right side you'll see this new plugin and then this is where it will host all your plugins right so to get your plugins you'll see the store right here once you click on that it brings you in here and then this way you can search up stuff and then get them downloaded on your device but before i get into all that guys let me show you what i already got right here so to control your lights i've seen some people asking me how i got my lights up on running and changing and stuff like that you this is it's called you will sync right so how to get this you could just go to the store real quick come in here and then you just type in you sync and then it should be the first one that's in here so once you come in here see and saying reinstall you just click on here and then we just install it for you all right so in you sync once you go in here click this to enable it and then you control all the different colors and all your styles from in here guys you hear me see it's changing as i'm doing it also you also got a battery one in here as well and it shows you when your battery is full when it's dying so it'll be green when it's full and it also go to red when when it's actually dying right so you can also mess with the brightness as well it's up to you so whenever you see it's green that means you're in good health and when it goes to red that means your system is about to die and the next thing i want to show you guys as well you got decky frame gen and then also loss of scaling loss of scaling is fairly a new upscaler but either one you want to mess it right now, I'll say loss of scaling is kind of a little bit better comparing to Decky Frame Gen. I'll say go with loss of scaling for now. It's more efficient and it gives you boosting FPS. That's kind of more smoother than Decky Frame Gen. So when you come in loss of scaling, I have a full tutorial on this as well on my channel. So I'm not going to go in depth. But in here, you see the FPS multiply go up and down with FPS multiply if you want 2x, 3x or 4x. And then you could turn it off. And then it will be the same thing for Decky Frame Gen as well, guys. Also, the next thing you need for this device, because when you just get the Legion Go S or any other device or anything that you put your Steam that you put SteamOS on, you might not be able to be precise with your TDP, like put it a different wattage and stuff like that. So you could download Simple Decky TDP. Simple Decky TDP in here, you could control your TDP wattage, 23 watts gpu and you can also turn, enable your cpu boost smt and all that good stuff guys so this you really need this so you could be in full control of what wattage you're using and be precise and what game you're playing so that you have the best experience while playing your games right all right so the next plugin i want to show you guys i've seen people been asking me about it it's called fantastic if you come in here if you type fantastic this right here, if I install it, this helps you to control your fan curves. I've seen a lot of people who would ask me, oh, uh, we need a feature in here that I could control my fan curve by myself, right? So if you download Fantastic, you come in here, then you enable custom fan curves. 
this is where you can mess with your fan curves guys you hear me so i know a lot of people saying oh i want to control my fan, my fan curve to how i want it to make it a little bit quieter give me a lot more air so i can cool out my system a lot better so this is where once you download this guys and you can mess around with it and it will help you a lot with your fan curve on me i don't really mess with my fan curves but i know a lot of people have been asking how they could mess with their fan curves so as i said before you come in here you can mess around with it up and down depending on what you want to do and once you're finished and you're not trying to use it if you don't want to use it anymore turn it off and it goes back to your stock fan curve all right so the next plugin i want to show you guys this is more for customization um one thing i want us to show you guys as well if you come into sort right if you want to see what's in the store what you could download you can come in here and then you can click on most downloaded first this will show you all the most downloaded plugins on the the system right so these are the ones that everyone are using and most likely there's not a lot of bugs because so much people are downloading them so if you want to do it like that and then go through it and see which one you might like there's a lot in here guys a lot a lot of different stuff to help you with your system customize your system next i want to show you guys is animation changer once you tap that in then you'll see the changer right here Hit install but this helps you change your boot logo your suspend screen and all that good stuff guys it's more for customization once you come in here you'll see your boot suspend and travel right so this is for your boot up when you suspend the system suspend it from a game right for the trauma so whenever you're in a game and you click the button then you'll see an animation that you want right so once you come in here then you click on manage and then this is where you could download all the animation that they have for this plugin right so this is not the same store as the decky loader store you got to come inside the animation changer and then you click on manage and then you can come in here and then this is where you see all the the animations right so once you come in here guys you could go through all the list that you want you got gta 5 retro boot up let's try and do this one gives you a little preview when you come in here then you hit download once it's downloaded you head back then once you come in here let's say you go to boot and then there you go you could change it like that so now let me see suspend there's none for that, so just gotta go in here. Go back in here again. And then you look for one for suspend, guys. All right, so if you come here, you can sort it by however you want. So you come to most popular, if you want to do that. And then you could look for one for a specific section that you want. So boot intro. All right, let's, 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 let's try this suspend one right here. Old CRT off suspend. Let's go in here, hit download. It's downloaded it's going back here and then it should be in here guys see there you go hit that then let's double check to make sure it's all set yep it's there and if i suspend my system now then we should see that animation there you go all right so next i want to show you guys is how long to beat like to how long to beat a game come down here you see hltb for deck once to hit install this will give you a lot more information on your games and then once you come in here, back up, you see HLTB for deck, you come in here and gives you a lot of information that you can turn on and off if you want all the stats, you can mess around with what you need to see, what you don't need to see, all right? So now if you go to a game, so main story, main and extra, completionist. So here it tells you, gives you a lot more information and what's going on and how long to beat the game and how long to complete fully complete the game so this is a good feature to have as well and if you hit view more details it brings you to the website it's pulling all this information from a website right and then you come in here and you get a lot more details on the game and what's going on all right so the next one i want to show you guys is called vibrant deck so this gives you a boost in your saturation make your system pops a little bit more it's up to you if you want to mess around with it once you come in here, you can type it in, but it's up on top already. So vibrant deck. Yeah, install. And once you come in here, it should be in here, right here. And then once you tell it's so you turn it on and off. And then you can mess around with the saturation. Make it more vibrant. Make it a little bit duller if you want. It's up to you. Your preference, you get me? So this is not really a must-have or essential. So I got um one more customization plugin for you guys. Once you come back to the store, type in CSS loader. 
then it should pop up right here. So this helps you to customize the system to make it look like a different system, make it look like a Switch, make it look like a PlayStation, whatever you want to customize it to. So once you come in here, this has its own store as well. Once you click on downloads right here, once you come in here, you have a different themes in here, guys. So this is basically like a theme for your handheld. So you customize it to your liking. So as you see, it's giving you different previews and how your system will look. So your quick settings, if you want to download the copy menu right here, this will make your quick settings look a lot different. Go back. Let's look for a theme. So let's go up real quick. So now you could put it the latest updated. Let's put my most downloaded. So you got round right here. So this round, a lot of people like using this because with the default settings of your system, everything is sharp edges, right? Look at that. Everything is sharp. So now if I go back in here, I download this right here. Hit download. Head back, come in here, see it's round, see it's right here. Once you click it, turn it on, then you come on this, you got a little mini right here, because you can also mess with the intensity, up and down, make it more round, less round, come down again, and then you can make it back square, hidden, so it's up to you how you want to do it. So now once you turn it on, and then head back out, see now, everything look a lot more round around the edges, guys, see that? And some people like this. I like it as well. Instead of the sharp edges and stuff like that. So this is a good theme. This is a good theme. But if you want to get more crazy, let's go back in here. All right, let's, let's try tilt it and see how it will look. Hit install. Let's go back. Surround this on as well. So you can leave round on and also use tilted. Hit that on. And then you could mess around with it one way opposite 3d all right let's head out and there you go everything look a little bit kind of slanted you hear me so you can mess around with it guys there's a playstation theme switch theme if you want the system look like a switch or anything like that all right so the next plugin i want to show you guys is proton db once you come in here again type it in all right so it's called proton db badge so with this it shows you what game is verified what game runs properly in your system what don't really work in your system so it's basically it's basically like the steam deck verify so it's basically like the verify badge that steam use but this is a lot better because it's coming from the community and they're the one that's really playing the games and they could, they could actually tell you which one is works perfect and which one don't right so once you come in here, you can leave customize as well. You can make it regular, small, minimalist, or yep. And you can choose where you want to put it, right or left. And you can clear the cache as well, right? So let's head out. Let's go inside the game. And then let's go to this one right here. And it says silver. So it's basically the same. See this badge right here? Steam badge. It's basically the same badge. We're the one that's actually playing the game. So I'll say it's more accurate. Because sometimes the Steam might say this game runs perfect when it don't. And once we start playing it, you get me? It's not running that great. So once you come in here, see Platinum, meaning it's, it's running great. When this game first came out, Black Metucon, this was not running great on Steam Deck. So if, once you go through all your games, see, not working. So this will go, this game, Call of Duty, everyone knows this is not, this doesn't work on Steam OS. So yeah. All right, so the next one I want to show you guys, come back in here. It's called Steam Grid DB, right here. So with this, it helps you to customize your artwork for the games. So if you download a game, you don't like the artwork, then yeah, you could change it. If you want to make all your artwork like same colors, then you could probably do that if you could find an artwork for that game that gives you the similar color that you're looking for, right? If you come in here, it's showing you like a video how to actually use it, right? So saying you gotta go there, go to, all right, so head out. Head back to, let's head to a game. Let's see which game I wanna change. Let's say I wanna change Spider-Man. I right click, hit change artwork, and then there you go. So with CSS Loader and Steam Grid DB, you can customize your system to your liking, guys. So let's say I want this one right here. Select, 
apply head back out and there you go it's all changed already all right so that's basically for that so yeah guys that's basically it uh, one more thing i want to say decky loader loss of scaling if you want to see more details full videos on those guys I have individual videos on decky loader and also on loss of scaling that gives you more information and more details and how to use it how to get it up and running and how to get the best experience using them right right now i'll say loss of scale on the best one to use it's the newest as well and i also put the video and the videos in the description box down below so you guys go check them out and see which one you like or see which one you want to use guys but everything else most of them is just customization and also stuff to make your this day-to-day -day uses with this system a lot easier and more proficient that's basically it guys if you like what i'm posting hit that like button sub to channel for more awesome content guys and if you have any other plugin that you guys been using that you like or you think are essential for using with the legion go s or any other system just drop it down below guys let me guys let me know what you guys are using and sub to for more awesome content guys and remember to always say health is world peace and love i'm out guys thanks for tuning in